Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as, uh, Lesesco, let's continue on from the last night off. So, uh, Germany is in the middle of their civil war, which is good news for us because it means that we're no longer getting bombed by the Luftwaffe, which, uh, gets rid of some nasty penalties for us, so things are going to be slightly better than they were before. Uh, construction goes up, we use less consumer good factories, um, I, I, I don't care about that at all. Yeah, so they're all dying. Are you raiding the south? The answer is no. I don't know what they're doing down there. Probably They probably are raiding somebody, but it's not a huge deal. And then there's some, also some uh, stuff going on. That happens in Madagascar, I believe. Oh, my God. They're, everyone's at war. There you are. Okay. So, wait. Is that all just down here? Who else just declared war? I thought it was down here, but apparently it's, uh... Is it not a Madagascar? I mean, it looks like these countries don't even exist. Central European Council. Civil War. Chaos in Ostland. Okay, I get that, but where the hell is Ostland? Oh, this guy over here. Okay. Who's over here? Central European Council. That's fine. You guys do whatever you want. It's not a, a big deal to me. Someone sees Crimea. Again, a lot, a lot of interesting stuff, but none of it actually pertains to anything I'm actually doing. Burgundy's clear war on the French. British clear war in France, civil war in German Madagascar. Yeah, basically everything is going to shit. And again, I, I don't really care about any of this. It's not a big deal. This one war, though, is actually lasting forever, and that's insane to me. Like, how long can this raid go on for? It's been going on, I, I feel like, for like two whole years at this point. So, like, if you could just stop it, please? Like, 5% strike. Like, these troops are going to die. Eventually. Like, they... They have five divisions. I've actually killed three divisions of their army. And it just, it just kind of happened. Okay, the English Civil War. Again, this has happened every single time. I don't think there's any, like, new weird events. I, I know there's one point where the South African... War happens, and the United States is allowed to enter that, whereas before, uh, in the Orenburg campaign, the AI actually had no way to do so. They're actually shooting, like, all my troops, and this is actually, like, extremely annoying. Like, I'm actually gonna kill, like, most of their army just by this. By this raid, because the AI will not stop it. This loyalty is at 21%. Um, I'm sure that's fine. Um, oh, it looks like actually we get army experience once they pull out. Okay. So let us go for BOU. Lesesco, I'm sure, is getting more insane by the day. 31% stability. Fortification Charter. As enemies approach upon our state and our national security is threatened, I announce a fortification charter designed to render our state impenetrable and our people safe. Series of plans and designs created by myself and the leading fortification experts in the country. The program will introduce new cities of pillboxes, arsenals, and traditional bunkers along our frontiers and borders. That's fine. Please go away. I think I think their entire army will just die by the raids. Either by me consistently or by getting attacked by uh, Durangard. Like, they might just not have an army by the time we actually declare a war. Which is kind of funny when you think about it. Okay, the, the partisans have been defeated. So, you know, that, that didn't take very long. There's civil wars everywhere. And, you know, I'm sure the other countries might explode at some point, too. Depending. Burgundy absolutely destroying the French. Not a huge surprise there. Free England is winning as well, but I don't think I've ever seen them lose. Again, I've only played this, like, once, so... Not a big surprise. Port Weapons 3 has been researched. Fantastic. And as well as concentrated industry. So what are we going to go for? We are going to, I think, keep trying to make our troops better. 306 days. Apparently, no, I have to get this one first. 307 days. And just improve the industry. Of course, I can't stop attacking. 
like 2% strength. 5% strength. Like, their strength is low. Our organization is also quite low. We're at uh, 12.3. This troop is probably going to die at some point soon. Okay, yeah, so Burgundy Brittany is taking a lot of territory from the French. Not a big surprise there. Please. Oh, thank God. They finally have given up. We did get one uh, loot regardless, so that's nice. The only three divisions. I killed five of their divisions in that in that raid. The Spoils of War gave us 500 rifles. Not even really what I'm like, that concerned about. Well, we can immediately spend those rifles on... Um, you for a thousand more manpower it's going to increase its loyalty by quite a bit but i can buy that off with this here and again we have so much guns that i i don't feel bad about spending them on that we also have five points here which we have two loot so what do we want to do let's get some new agricultural methods again it doesn't seem like those actually do anything other than just increase stability by two percent every single time There you go. So our troops are pretty well reinforced. Organization's going back up. Manpower is at 74%. Uh, we do need more manpower. So apparently our total manpower is at... Let me just see that here. Well, we have 3% uh, mobilization. 0.5 is, is mobilized, but we're actually like not... Our mobilization is just at zero percent. Like it's not going higher or lower. So we should have we should have like a much higher manpower pool, but it's actually just not increasing disappointingly enough. Uh, sure. Let's hit some forts. I it doesn't really make a big difference to me. Oh, uh, you do have twenty. Okay, let's spend our army experience. Let's get the NKVD loyalty down. Our insanity is at a nice 28%. Apparently, this is still considered average, but I'm assuming once it goes down by probably under 25%, it's going to give us an event saying, hey, he's a very insane man. Okay, so they're attacking Orenburg again. I mean, Orenburg actually is like a surprisingly large manpower pool. And not surprising to me, because when I was playing Orenburg, there was no way in hell I ever got them to have any manpower before we got, uh... Uh, what's his name? I actually do not remember. Malenkov in charge. Okay, so Free England has won. Not a huge surprise. We're going to probably kill Cornwall as well. Uh, I don't need Laura, uh, I don't need any more loyalty from them. It looks like Berman is or Borman is probably going to win. He's doing a pretty good job here. He's got most of South Germany under his control. And it looks like Ostland is. I mean, again, like look, the, the, the exact same. I don't know what the hell they're even fighting for. Just for, I guess, complete control. I mean, I don't know what else they would actually be fighting for. The Boer Republic's declared war in South Africa. Not a huge surprise there, because that's what usually happens. So what are they at? The Boer Republic's down here. Of course, they're fascists against the conservative democracy. And the United States is supposed to help them now. Or at least that is what I believe so, at least. Yeah, like everybody else here is declared a war. 7 divisions, 12, 14. Will they actually do anything? Or will they just get completely floored again? Again, the United States is supposed to have some sort of, um... Events to get involved in the South African war now, but... My guess is nothing's actually going to happen. So let us... Uh, max entrenchment goes up. Land forward. Construction speed goes up as well. But I like I don't... I'm not worried about getting ki attacked. Except, I guess, by... Um, the Wanger down here. He's actually the... He is the biggest threat in the entirety of the country. Or in the, the Urals, I should say. Yes, we're at 91% army readiness. I mean, that seems pretty good to me. Let's get another 1,000 manpower, buy down this loyalty. Our guns are still at 4.2,000, which is significantly more than we're probably ever going to actually need. 
Because each one of these armies only uses um, 600. And chains out, we're not going to be training that many more troops. Yeah, so who knows? Are they, are they not getting support from the United States? I guess not. Okay. Well, good luck, South Africa. I'm sure you're absolutely going to lose. But it's not, you know, it's not, it's not that big of a deal to me. It's whatever. So this will give us uh, defense on core territory plus 10%. Let them come. Increase army readiness by 10. Let some dogs of war. Immediately attack. I think Earl's first. And I don't see anybody else really being that much of a threat. And I'm, you know, I'm just going to immediately try to prepare against the Euroleague again. Because they're, they're weak enough that I think I can just kill their soldiers. And if they have no actual army to fight me, when the war begins, I can just literally just walk across the territory. And not worry at all about anything. Demand tribute. Target the Urals. Reward the bandits. And then attack the bandits. Our true work can begin. That doesn't sound like, you know, it sounds a little bit uh, worrying, to say the least, but I'm sure it is A-OK. -okay. Let's attack the Euro League once again. And, you know, if, it, if they were smart, I know I know the AI, I don't think, can actually pull troops out, but they would not fight this, these battles because there's no way they can actually win. Okay, stuff is going down in Madagascar. Not a huge surprise. Buy down disloyalty once again. So surprisingly, the like J Jewish resistance movement is actually doing pretty well in Madagascar. Chaotic rhythms, oh fantastic! We're going to go, we're going more insane as the day goes by. Classified files are subject is now at unprecedented levels of psychological instability. Uh, media uh, corrective action is acquired if this facility and its personnel wish to continue daily practices will risk from internal collapse or external invasion. I want to be insane. I just want to know what happens. Um. To, to, uh, the psychological health assessment is attached below. No observation is necessary to conclude that such deviation from the baseline tendencies and behaviors indicated a full-scale uh, slide is a madness on part of Conrad Sesco. Propose annihilation of the cerebral level and uh, the ritual. Uh, programs have been tabled by senior members of the council, quickly becoming apparent that this would be uh, to their immediate regret. Their families have been liquidated. <laughs> we just killed them all. Fantastic. Um... Before the Tesco can further harm the council, its members and military, um, yeah, okay. Look, power gain, research speed goes down by 15%. That's okay. The NKVD is still pretty loyal to me. Spend more points to make them more loyal. For private soldier to keep persecuting officers. I mean, it looks like, oh, army readiness went down. How much did that increase army readiness by? Holy hell. We're only at 76% now. I was at like 91. What has happened? We got some treasure. Fantastic. Did I kill another one of their troops? I did. Wonderful news. Um, what? What did I get? Oh, just 75 political power. Boring. Could have been something a little bit cooler, but no. Now, what do you want me to do? Bribe soldiers. Again, 12% disloyalty is not that bad. I'm not worried that we're going to get overthrown by the NKVD. You know, Sandy said 22%. Could be worse. Could be better. But I'm not uh, concerned about it. Again, how many guns do we have? We have 4.5 thousand. So I think you increase some um, readiness by how much? Because I, I like the getting manpower. That does seem to be uh, good. Speeders Germany has been uh, defeated. Three more days. Please let me uh, recruit more assets, please. Okay, one day. So decreases drilling. Decrease no decreases drilling. You know, what, let's get some training on the border then. Goes up by slightly, like not a ton, but a little bit. They might just straight up kill these soldiers. Because, like... 
Like, we could be here and we could just attack, like, every single province and just march down slowly as soon as we're ready to go to war. Like, I wish I could declare war a little bit faster. Because I feel like we can just absolutely demolish, um... Not against that border. That's a, that's a dumb border to be on. Like, we would just completely walk through and kill them. Like, there's not even a question about it. Like, what? Are you at, like, 100%? Because there's literally nobody on your border. Really? Eight? How's it 80% superior? Like, there's nobody there. How's that only 80% if you're enemy? Don't think you understand what that means, game. We'll increase army readiness by 5. Uh, defense goes up by 10%. Okay. Keep going down this tree. Is that lowering my... No, okay. Readiness at 83%. Fantastic. Things are going quite well, I would say. For a little Assesco over here. Sure, he's a little bit insane, but... Honestly, like, let's be fair. Who has not gone a little bit crazy sometimes? It's, you know, it's just a... Uh, just how things are. Okay. 35 days. We don't get an event by this. And, you know, this also gets uh, attrition to go down, which is quite good for us. Yeah, Bormann is just going to dominate Germany. You're probably going to win here. Uh, four divisions against six. I mean, you're outnumbered. Jackal wins at Ostland. I, I don't know. Is that bad? Like, who the hell is this? Not a big deal to me at all. Like, I, I honestly do not care in the slightest. England has defeated Cornwall. Not a big surprise there. So good for them. Loyalty is at 16%. Again, not... I mean, it's like, you know, they're as loyal... Or they're as disloyal as I am sane. Which is wonderful. I just want to know what happens when we hit zero. Uh, Metal State is far from the most stable. We can only speculate on what might occur if he grips... Yeah, I just want to hit zero percent. I just want to know what crazy shit this man is going to do. I'm sure it's going to be excellent. I, I don't know what it is. Like, he should, like, we're just going to, like, immediately... We might just do something weird, like, just immediately clear war on every single person. Okay, economic... Yeah, that's fine. Tokyo Sock Market has crashed. Not a big deal at all. Let us prepare for another invasion of the Urals. And they have two divisions. They're all the way down to the very south. I mean, this will draw them up north, but, you know, we just get to take the loot for free, so it's not a big deal. Okay. Again, is that, is that 16? I don't know what, it went up. I don't know. Things are a bit odd. Fort, yeah, let's get some fortress uh, things going. And five, we have one loot. So, okay, let's attack them. There's literally nobody on the border. Do we just like immediately win? I don't know how long the border conflict lasts. Before we just immediately win. If you lose, a lot of bad stuff. Not a big surprise. Which one have we not seen? I don't think we've seen loot. We don't. I don't think we've seen villages destroyed. Oh no, for enemies. We'll get spoils of war no matter what. Okay. It doesn't really matter. We're gonna send troops up here. They're probably also very low strength. Probably very low organization. Okay, there we go. Spoils of war. One free loot. The AI did not even get here in time. We're going to build some new schools. Their strength actually does look like it's increased slightly. So good for them for, I'm guessing, getting a handful of... Uh, some manpower somewhere. Our manpower is not increasing. Okay, we're actually at 0.6 now. It's gone up It's gone up very slightly. Like, we're supposed to be at, we're supposed to have 3%. And we're only at 0.6. So we got some uh, bad situations here. So we, we built two forts. Around our capital. Not a not a big deal, and I don't think. We are slowly building up a military factory, which we still have not done. Of course, this is the military factory we began building at the very start of the game. But I do think this is gonna be a good time to end this episode. Thanks very much for watching. Anthony, if you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Not do I close thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.